Hey everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me today. In this video, we are going to make some changes to the UI so that we can test out our map screen and then we will see what happens from there. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is obviously create a uh, new screen within our UI for our tool tips. So what we're going to do is just quickly create a new file new file like that call this tip screen dot rpy like so and then we're going to pull out the screen and we're gonna go tip screen like that now that we've got the screen created what we want to do is we want to say if tt dot value is not the same as empty then we're going to create a frame like this and it's going to be x align 0.5 and y pause i'm going to put this about 85 i think and then we're going to create a v box for those of you who don't know that's just like an imaginary box in which we're going to put our text like so and then we're just going to put in uh, square brackets pt value pt dot value silly me that and that's all we need to do for our tooltip screen so we can now put in our main ui to use the tip screen like that there we use now the tooltip screen is probably going to be one of the last things that we want to put in because we want our tooltips to appear over the top of everything else so that we can always see it so i'm going to put some faces in there like i have done like so now what we also need to do now is just under the tooltip screen because if we have our nav menu pop up we want to make sure that it pops up above everything else so immediately below that we're going to check on our defaults and defines we're going to copy that that's our nav menu variable that we created in the last video come back to our main UI and we're going to say if nav menu use and now we just need to double check what our nav map screen is called copy that paste it in there then we're going to say use nav map boom now we're going to create a button in the left hand corner of the screen so that we can actually open up the navigation menu now i would usually put it in like a, a container like a top mav bar but i don't think we're going to have one in this game so all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a frame and i'm going to have set the background to none and I'm just going to put inside that an image button. Hover is going to be, and I've got a icon set up, so I'm going to quickly go up there. So that's going to be a UI forward slash map forward slash map 512.png like that. And then I'm just going to copy that. But I haven't got to type it again pop that there like that and then I'm going to say action it's going to be toggle variable and it's going to be nav menu so we've got a button now that simply toggles the value of nav menu so it's going to open and close the map because we might open it and then change our mind so that's what we've done that for we've left it in the screen so that we can toggle it off without changing our location like so so we also need to quickly nip into here and we're just going to copy this because it's easier the hovered tt action and we're going to pop that in there and then we're just going to change the text that's in here to toggle map like that so now we have a user interface set up with a map icon in the top left hand corner that will toggle the map open and closed if we open the map, it's going to display our background image at 1000 by 600 pixels. Then inside that frame, there's going to be buttons for all of our locations. Now all we need to do is actually tell Rempi to show that on the screen. Because currently in the screen, in the script start label, we've got this menu which allows us to change locations. Well, we don't need that anymore because we've now got a navigation map. So what we need to do is 
put something on the screen that will allow us to actually display this um, information. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this. Now that that's all gone, what we need to do, the first thing we're going to say is window hide. And that just shows, that just tells Rempi to hide the dialog window if it's displaying it, um, just so that the game doesn't look odd. And I think what we also need to do is set the click type variable to nothing. And that just makes sure that we're not going to get any wacky business happening if uh, we have clicked on something. We need to reset the variable back to nothing. Okay, so we're probably going to put a whole bunch of stuff after all of this and before it. But for now, all we need to do is to show the main UI and uh, allow us to activate the navigation button. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it UI return. And those of you who followed my last series will recognize this, what we're doing equals renpy.call and then underscore screen and going to call main UI. Just make sure we get the name of that correct because it's case sensitive. Obviously pop that in there. Cool. Now, theoretically, if we run the game, it will show all of what we want it to show, but it won't actually do anything. It will just allow us to click and it will show the tooltips. So I think that the last thing we need to do before we quickly run a test on this is if we go back into our default defines, we actually need to tell Rempi what our tooltip is. So we're going to say default TT equals tooltip and open brackets, open speech marks, and then just save it like that. So I believe that that is us now ready to run a quick test run. So we'll bring up our Rempi window and we'll give that a test. We're going to start. So we're in the bank. If we hit the map icon, brings up the map with the background. So that's correct. And if we hit the map again, that toggles the map and our tooltip is indeed appearing, but we're not getting any icons currently. So we close this down and we come into our classes. We can have a look at why. And the reason is that all of our locations are currently not active. So if we change all of these to true, copy that, double click on the word, control V. And we save again. Now when we run, theoretically, we should now get place has no attribute name. Okay. So what we've done here is in our nav map screen, we have got a lowercase name where we're supposed to have a uppercase name. If we go into our properties, there you go. Capital N for name. That's easy one to fix. So we'll just go shift N there and we'll go to shift N there. Quickly save that. And now when we run our project, and if we go to start, we can open the nav menu. And there we go. There is our icons. Go to my home, go to my garden, go to gas station, go to Hotel Paradiso, go to the bank. And the proof of the pudding is, of course, in the clicking. And yes, so we clicked on the icon and currently the nav menu closes, but it doesn't do anything else. So what we now have to do is we have to add some code after all of that. So we go back into our script. And we can say if click type equals equals nav, and we can go back to our nav map and check that that is correct. Yep, capital N for nav as is just here. Then we can go through. What we can do is we can catch any errors here if we want to, but we're going to be pretty sensible. So all we're going to do is come back to our defaults and defines. We're going to say location with a capital L. We need to put a dollar sign there. Control location equals UI. And we're just going to check that that's spelled correctly. UI return. So theoretically, it should now change our location when we've clicked on the button because we've said if click type equals nav, which is what we say in the nav map there. We're returning the name, so we are good to go, if I remember correctly. So let's give that a test run. 
as you can see, open our nav menu, it gives us our tool tips. If we go to the gas station, the map disappears and we go to the gas station, click on that again, and we're going to Hotel Paradiso. Here we are, Hotel Paradiso, and it's taking us to where we want to go. We can go home and we can go to the garden and just for proving the pudding, we can go back to the bank. So that's that, really. That's the nav map ready to go. And we've now created a game loop that checks the user interface. Um, so that's all we really need to do for this episode. I hope you found that useful, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.